So following that SummerSlam, we are now looking ahead at a shakeup as we move into Hell in the Cell. And we have three cards to choose from here, a bronze and two silvers. Since we have all specialists, we just gotta take advantage of that, right? You gotta do it. So specialist training for everyone. Look at that, plus three on the mic. Give it to me. That is beautiful, love to see it. So we booked our next show on the road to Hell in a Cell. Again, try not to use too much money overall outside of the logistics, the arena and all. Let's see if we can gain some big profit here in Reno, Nevada. So simulating our opening matchup, the tag titles on the line and The Rock and Mustafa Ali are your new tag team champions, but developing a new rivalry as well. Seth giving us some nice ratings there for a promo for charity. You got Roman versus Johnny Gargano. And Johnny Gargano picks up the win over the Tribal Chief. Uh, Jimmy with a decent promo there. Women's tag titles on the line as your champs are defeated. Rhea Ripley and Tamina are your new tag team women's champions. As we head to the main event, it is Asuka versus Bailey, And Asuka is still your champion. Level four rivalry will blow that off in a Hell in a Cell match, most likely at the pay-per-view. So looking at the ratings on the drama curve, um, we had a, a decent opener and a really good main event, actually the best main event on the show. You look at the rest of the cards, the opener there for NXT was fantastic as Big E versus, um, uh, who is that, Angel right there, Angel Garza. So really good stuff to see. Raw putting on a very, very, very consistent show as well. And then X, or WCW was mid, kind of average. Uh, we did get a show note there, you see. The Rock and Ali work well as a tag team. We gained 59,000 fans and $89,000 in profit. As NXT with 40,000 fans, $96,000 in profit. Uh, you got 46,000 fans for Raw, $25,000 in profit. And 48,000 fans for WCW with a $74,000 profit. So at the end, we do get a fixed match guarantee, so we can choose who will win a match, okay? And we are still second behind NXT, but slowly closing on the gap. But we need to get that budget up as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, Ali wants some money. He wants 96,000. I'm, I'm, I'm lowballing everybody on, on what we can do. Oh, sorry. I, I upset her. $100,000, Jimmy. Holy crap. No chance, boy. You can go. Uh, so Jimmy Uso is out of here. We need to go find somebody else available. So we have $149,000. Uh, Jimmy was a heel. Sammy seems like a pretty good choice, in my opinion. Um, but you got Omos over here. I'm trying to see who's got fairly decent stamina. We're going to go with Sammy. We're going to pick up Sammy. Jimmy's gone. Sammy, bring him on. 80 something thousand dollars. I'll take that all day, every day. Uh, we're also going to do a double cost card here. And we're going to put that on NXT and hurt them as best we can. All right, so we can't have any promos. We're, we're too poor. Uh, we do have three titles on the line, so hopefully that will book us a good show. We need to get the money going. So simulating our first matchup here, IC title on the line, and Hayes retains against the freaking Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins there. It's a three-star match. No rivalry still. Why is there no rivalry? I do not understand why it's not going. Liv Morgan defeats Dakota Kai. Does nothing there with that. Tag titles on the line here. And The Rock and Mustafa Ali win the Tag Team Championship, as I thought they already had prior. And the Universal title on the line. Cody Rhodes defending against Sami, and Cody retains the title and begins a feud with Sami Zayn. So, so at the ratings here, you see we had a mediocre show. NXT put on a banger in their main event here. Holy crap. Rivalry is stale, but holy smokes, what a show they put on. Raw put on a pretty good show as well. Their opener here, Scott Hall versus Commander Aziz. Um, looking at the ratings, 38,000 fans gained, $111,000 in profit. Um, again, falling far behind though. Man, 54,000 fans, 18,000 profit, 48,000, 69,000, and 45 and 98. So yeah, we fell behind. Uh, but with this, we just gained an achievement for our MyGM, our first one Revenue tier one, earn $1.5 million in a lifetime revenue. We're second by about 40 something thousand fans or so. The profit still, you know, the budget's still not where we'd like it to be as we head to Tampa. 
All right, so we're booking this one right here. It's about $95,000 cost. We got a couple titles on the line. Let's hope this is gonna be solid. Let's get into the sim as we open up with Carmelo Hayes versus Seth Rollins. And a tables match, Seth Rollins getting a nice win there. Three and a half stars, still no rivalry. I don't, I can't fathom what's going on here. So now we got the tag titles on the line and The Rock and Robert Roode win the tag team championships. Three and a half stars, okay. Then we got a tag women's championship match up here as the champs retain against the defending challengers, a three-star rivalry now, good to see. And level four there, beautiful. As we head to the main event, it's Rhodes versus Sammy, hoping to grow this rivalry further. And Sammy with a win against the champ, now a two, level two rivalry. As we look at the ratings, we put on a very consistent show. Three and a half stars to three stars across the board. NXT, though, with a great opener and mid-card matchup. As you see what they had brewing there. Raw had a good main event. Okay, Lita. Nice. Lita uh, wins that one against Dewdrop. Okay, and then WCW put on a decent show as well. So looking at the ratings, we gained 65000 We'll just round that up by one. Um, and then $73,000 in profit. 45,000 for NXT, 97,000 in profit. Raw, 47,000 is 9,000. Man, they're struggling with money there. And then WCW, 49 and 92. So, still second place. The budget creeping up slowly. That's exactly what we're hoping to see as we get ready now for the go home show for Hell in a Cell. And we just lost Gigi Dolan. She's upset. Bye bye. And Sami Zayn telling us he loves the Iron Man match. Okay. Um, I'll book him in one in the next two weeks. An Iron Man match. Wow. And we're going to go ahead and use our Veto Star. So for next week's show, we're trying to slow down NXT. We're going to use this yet again to take out their number one most popular star. Will not be available. We're in a bit of a predicament. We're without Gigi Dolan now. She has left the brand. We need a heel for the women's division. And I'm looking around and there's not much to to show out, unfortunately. So looking to see who we can get for the women's division as a heel. There's nobody really I can see unless I turn. So we're gonna go ahead to Nikita Lyons and um, I think she could be a good one to flip over to a heel. All right, so we're booking it. This is the card, the go home show. We're trying not to spend too much money, 71,000. Going ahead and simulating one by one. Again, this is just all about trying to grow the rivalries all to level four. This is level three now, music to my ears. Sammy with a call out there. Rivalry to level three, beautiful. Tag team women's championship action. Uh, the champs win that matchup. Level four, great. That's exactly what we want to see before the pay-per-view. Seth, the call out, level two rivalry. This is already level four, but just wanted to have a decent match, hopefully, here. Three stars or above. Ah, two and a half. Okay, nice promo there. And the main event, Asuka Bailey, already level four, but just want something decent for her ratings. And we get a four star matchup, exactly what we want to see. And looking at the drama curve, as you see, we had a very consistent show with a great main event. NXT put on a banger there. The, there's, you know, some, some matches they said rivalry right here is growing stale, tired. Um, level three rivalry there, level three, level one. Okay, Raw put on a decent main event there, and WCW with a good main event there, Queen Zelina. Okay, so looking at the viewership and revenue, we gained 50,000 fans and $99,000 in profit. 54,000 for NXT as they continue to grow their league with 94,000 profit, 36,000 for Raw, and so forth as NXT with our WCW at 49,000. So we're still in second place, 30,000 fans behind. The budget is now on par with everybody as we, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to finish this up now. Hell in a cell. And we have a veto star applied against us as Seth Rollins is not available for our pay-per-view. Oh, they're hitting us where it hurts. Roman Reigns has had enough crap. Oh crap, please tell me you're not leaving. I'll do whatever it takes. Roman, do not leave. He wants $100,000. Take it. You get the money. You get the money, Tribal Chief. All right. Uh, let's see. So Liv Morgan wants to be in a match. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view as we'll conclude this one here. Again, we didn't have a ton of money, unfortunately. Hopefully, though, 
with pretty much almost all our major major titles on the line we can put on one heck of a show here so simulating the first match here asuka defending the title she wins and it is a four and a half star classic to get it started let's go let's go tamina rhea ripley let's see here so, okay they they keep the titles a four star matchup we are off to a heck of a start ladies and gentlemen loomis versus mahal Level four rivalry. Mahal wins the blow off in a three and a half star match. We'll take it. Tag team title action here. And the Mustafa Ali Rock connection. Three and a half stars. Rivalry begins. That's exactly what I want to see. And main event time. It's an Iron Man match. Title on the line. Cody versus Sammy. And Sammy dethrones Cody in a four and a half star classic in his specialty match. He is the new champ. So looking at the ratings, there you see it. We had a heck of a show, but WCW was not playing around. They had a five, they had two five star matches. The falls count. They had money to spend. Apparently, look at all that money being spent. Holy Toledo Mudhens! Look at that. What a show! WCW says we're crawling out of the gutter. We're coming. And looking at the ratings here. Zane, really good Iron Man matches. We had 140,000 fans gain and $75,000 in profit. 140,000 fans. That's 12,000 more right here than NXT as they lost money. Uh, a lot more than Raw, who gained some money. And WCW, $153,000 are fans. They did lose over $100,000. And as we conclude this one here today, ladies and gentlemen, we are trailing behind NXT. With they have two million and twenty four thousand. We have two million and nine thousand. Uh, so WCW is coming on. They're still behind us, but we enter in as we're on the road now, ladies and gentlemen, to Survivor Series in second place. Do we have what it takes to take over the number one spot in the Battle of the Brands?